السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم يا مقلب القلوب والأبصار ثبت قلوبا على دينك بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, inshallah, today we have the second part of uh, the Tafsir Surah Ar-Rahman. Uh, last time we stopped at uh, uh, Ayah 26, so we will go on, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kullu man alayha fan. So everyone upon the earth will perish. So we are all going to die. We are all going to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah says in several surahs about, he talked about death and he told us that everyone is dying. كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ وَإِنَّمَا تُوَفَّوْنَ أُجُورَكُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَازِ وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ So every soul will taste death and you, and you will only be given your full compensation on the day of resurrection. So he who is uh, drawn away from the fire and admitted to paradise has attained his desire. And what is the life of this world except the enjoyment of delusion? So get prepared. We are all going to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we want to go on a journey, we pack uh, food, we pack clothes, we pack uh, whatever necessities we need. Uh, we pack a lot of things, even though we know that we are going to come back. But for the journey, we have to get prepared. Now, the journey that we are going to go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's a one-way journey. We're not going to come back. The second death comes to us, that's it. Our day of judgment will start. And your Lord, full of majesty and honor, will abide forever. So the word face, wajh, means the uh, being it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to be there forever. But people will die, people will perish. Whatever Allah has created will, will perish. But he is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is staying and he never, he never dies. He never, his life never began, never ends. So which of the blessings of your Lord would you deny? Not with any. Thank you, Allah. So these are what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying here. These are blessings also to be mentioned. Whoever is within the heavens and the earth asks him. Every day he is bringing about a matter such as giving honor to some people, disgracing some people, giving life to some people, taking the life of others. 
So which of these blessings of your Lord would you deny? None. Ya Allah, we thank you. Ya Allah. So, سَنُفْرِغُ لَكُمْ أَيُّهَا الثَّقَلَانِ We shall attend to you, O oh, you two classes, which are the jinn and men. And Sayyidina Muhammad was uh, revealed to for all humans, even for jinn and men. بُعِثْتُ لِأَهْلِ الثَّقَلَيْنِ so this is a threatening from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There will be a day of reckoning. Get prepared. So which of the blessings of your Lord would you deny? None, ya Allah. Alhamdulillah. Ya ma'ashar al-jinni wal-ins. إن استطعتم أن تنفذوا من أقطار السماوات والأرض فانفذوا لا تنفذون إلا بسلطان. O oh, jinn and mankind, if you are able to pass beyond the zones, beyond the regions of the heaven and the earth, then pass. But you will not pass except by authority from Allah. Now I want you just to think of how the ayah starts. Ya ma'ashar al-jinni wal-ins. Jinn and mankind. Now, why, why do you think the word jinn was mentioned before mankind? Um, the answer is jinn are lighter than humans. Do you remember the story of Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam? When the hudhud, when the bird uh, was um, absent for some time, and uh, Sayyidina Sulaiman said, I will punish him severely or slaughter him unless he brings me clear authorization. Why, where is he? What, what was he doing? So when the hudhud came to Sayyidina, to, the bird of Sayyidina Sulaiman came back to him, he told him, and we are reading now from Surah An-Naml, إِنِّي وَجَدْتُ مْرَأَةً تَمْلِكُهُمْ وَأُوْتِيَتْ مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَلَهَا عَرْشٌ عَظِيمٌ وَجَدْتُهَا وَقَوْمَهَا يَسْجُدُونَ لِلشَّمْسِ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ Indeed, I found a woman ruling them ruling a group of people. And she has been given all the things, all the power, and she has a great throne. Not only this, this is okay, but the main point is that I found her and her people prostrating to the sun instead of Allah. Here Sayyidina Sulaiman, what did he say? قَالَ يَا أَيُّهَا الْمَلَأُ أَيُّكُمْ يَأْتِينِي بِعَرْشِهَا قَبْلَ أَنْ يَأْتُونِي مُسْلِمِينَ So the man alayhi salam said, Oh, oh assembly of jinn, which, which of you will bring me her throne before they come to me in submission? So what happened? This is my point. This is my exam. This is why I brought this story. A powerful one of the uh, amongst the jinn said, I will bring it to you before you raise you rise from your place. But another one called the one jinn who had the knowledge from the scripture said, I will bring it to you before your glance returns to you. If you blink your eye and open it, this is the time, the time that this action needs is uh, more than what this jinn can do. 
What about the humans that were there? None spoke. So this was my point. Why was the jinn first? The humans did not speak. لا تنفذون إلا بسلطان. You will not pass except by authority from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this authority, this power is the one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with it permitted Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to go up into the skies during his mi'raj, his uh, Isra and mi'raj uh, journey. There should be authority from Allah. There should be an order. There should be a permission from Allah if we want to do anything in our life. If you want to move your hand up and down, there should be a permission to do that. So which of the signs, which of the blessings of you, Lord, would you deny? None, ya Allah. Alhamdulillah. يُرْسَلُ عَلَيْكُمَا شُوَاظٌ مِّن نَارٍ وَنُحَاسٌ فَلَا تَنْتَصِرَانٌ There will be sent upon you smokeless flames of fire. And you will not be able to defend yourselves. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانٌ فَإِذًا شَقَّتِ السَّمَاءُ فَكَانَتْ وَرْدَةً كَدِّهَانٌ Now we are going to talk about what will happen, the, you, the, the unbelievable things that will happen on the Day of Judgment. One point is that the sky, what will happen? It? فَإِذًا شَقَّتِ السَّمَاءُ If the heaven is split open, فَكَانَتْ وَرْدَةً كَدِّهَانٌ and became rose-colored like oil. We know that in Surah Al-Inshiqaq, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts with إِذَا السَّمَاءُ شَقَّتْ when the sky split open. In Surah Al-Anfitar, Allah says إِذَا السَّمَاءُ فَطَرَتْ when the sky breaks apart. This will happen. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ So which of the blessings of your Lord would you deny? نَمْ يَا اللَّهِ أَلْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ فَيَوْمَئِذٍ لَا يُسْأَلُ عَنْ ذَنْبِهِ إِنْسٌ وَلَا جَانٌ Then on that day, none will be asked about his sin among men or jinn. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, will give us the explanation in the next ayah. But let's stop here for a second. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that none will be asked about his sins. But in Surah Al-Safat, Allah would say, وَقِفُوهُمْ إِنَّهُمْ مَسْؤُولُونَ Stop them, they will be questioned. Here, none will be asked about their sin, sins. So how can, we, how can we understand both ayahs? To know, to understand this, we have to understand a little bit about the Arabic language, about the eloquency of the Arabic language. In, in Arabic, when you ask a question, uh, uh, questions uh, in general have two positions. The student will ask the teacher to learn from him, to know the answer. But when the, when the teacher asks the student, he doesn't want to learn from the student, but he wants to know if he has understood the answer that he gave him earlier. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not ask people to take information from them. But he will ask them to, to make sure that they understood what, what's going to, to, to be waiting for them. This is by itself a, a big blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is explaining 
to people what they will face in the day of judgment, what will be waiting for them in the day of judgment. This is why Allah will not ask them because the sinners will be known by their marks, by their signs, by their black faces. يعرف المجرمون بسيماهم فيؤخذ بالنواصي والأقدام so they will be taken by their heads by their forelocks and by their feet they will be hauled and they will be thrown in the hellfire Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains this بسيماهم they will be known by their marks in other in surah Ali Imran ayah 106 when he says on the day of judgment, some faces will turn white, will have light, and some faces will turn black. To those whose faces turn black will be said, did you disbelieve after you believe? Then taste the punishment for what you used to reject. So their, their marks, their, their black faces show, indicate that they are the people of hellfire. They will be taken from their heads. They will be raised from their heads and their feet and they will be thrown in hellfire. Normally, the, the forehead indicates dignity, indicates how uh, powerful, how, how uh, honored a person is. But they will not be honored. They will, they will be dishonored in the day of judgment. Those, those criminals. So which of the blessings of you, Lord, would you deny? Alhamdulillah. And again, I'm reminding you of this. When Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked this question to the jinn, this was their answer. Wala bi wahidatin ya Allah. Wala bi ayi wahida. We will not uh, deny any. Alhamdulillah. And this is when Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told the, uh, the companions here when he said, I read Surah Al-Rahman to the jinns and they were better, they had a better uh, reaction to it. Whenever I used to, uh, I used to say, I used to read, they would say, Nanya Allah, alhamdulillah. So try now, from now on, whenever you read this ayah, to say, Nanya Allah, we do not, we believe in all your blessings. We believe in all your, uh, uh, your ni'am, Ya Allah. We do not deny any of them. Alhamdulillah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now, is saying this is hellfire which the the criminals deny so what would their uh, denial benefit to them will there be any benefit for that Will there be any, any use that they denied? What will happen to them? This is what they are going to face. This is what they are going to see, to experiment. They did not believe in dunya. They belied the messengers. They did not believe in the message. So this is their punishment. 
يطوفون بينها وبين حميم آن. They will go around it. They will go around between it, between it, between this fire, blazing fire, and scalding water. Heated to the utmost degree. Boiling hot water. They want a drink? Okay, here is your here's the drink. Boiling hot water. شراب حميم قطع أمعاءهم. Boiling water that will cut their intestines. فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان. So which of the blessings of your Lord will you deny? None, ya Allah, alhamdulillah. Now, our heart is trembling. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not keep us on, uh, like this. He is the most merciful. So whenever he talks about hellfire and punishment and what will happen to the criminals, to the bad uh, doers, to the uh, non-believers, then he will talk about those who feared Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those who were good. He's the most merciful. وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ but for him, that person who feared the standing before Allah, there will be two gardens. Who are the people who fear Allah? These are the people, the righteous people who have taqwa in their heart. What is taqwa? Taqwa is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find you in the places where he ordered you to be and will miss you in the places he ordered you not to go to. So where, we will be, where, where, where are we ordered to be? The gatherings of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the gatherings that will give us beneficial knowledge that will benefit us in our akhirah, for our akhirah. We need to be with the people who would remind us of Allah. We need to be with the people who would, when we slip, they will correct us. They will advise us. We need to know how to choose our friends, our companions, and not only ours, but our children's. When we want to uh, raise up, raise up good, good generation, we have to know who these, these kids are going with. Friends, are so dangerous. If they are good, they will, they will encourage your kids to go to do good. But if they are bad, and imagine what's going on in society these days. Imagine what's going, what, what type of problems we have between friends these days. We want to teach our kids to have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those who performed all the duties ordained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and kept away and abstained from the different types of evil deeds, those will be highly rewarded. Ya Allah, we want to be with these, with these people. We want to be with Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the day of judgment. 
We want his love to be in our heart that this love would, would prevent us from doing what unpleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah Al-Nazi'at, Ayah 441, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَا النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْهَوَى فَإِنَّ الْجَنَّةَ هِيَ الْمَأْوَى but as for who, for who, for he who feared the position of his Lord and prevented the soul from unlawful inclination, then indeed paradise will be his refugee. وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ So why two, two gardens? What is this two gardens? One of the explanations is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he created all people, he prepared a place in paradise for him, uh, uh, for each one, and a place of, of uh, uh, hellfire, uh, and a place in hellfire. So at the end, when he is a winner, then he will have his place and he will have also the place of another person who is placed in hellfire. It might be Jannatan to gardens, one in his grave and one, and one in the day after. Allahu A'lam. Oh, Allah is the all-knowing. But when someone wants to do a sin, especially if he is alone, no one is watching. And he remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He, he abstains from doing this sin for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, only because of fear to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This will give him the position in Jannah. Allah will highly reward this person who feared him. وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ For those who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what we want to have always. Allah is with us. At-Tusturi radiallahu anhu yaqool Allahu ma'i Allahu naziri Allah shahidi. Allah is with me. Allah is watching over me. Allah is looking at me. I, I feel ashamed. I cannot, I cannot do a sin when I know that someone is watching me, that Allah is watching me. This is what we want to have in our heart always. And it's so important to know that لا تنظر إلى صغر المعصية ولكن انظر إلى من عصيت. So don't say that this is okay. This is a small sin. No. Just think who did you disobey? So some people will not be doing just big sins and uh, uh, th those uh, deadly sins that will cause immediately to hellfire. No, some people will have just small sins, small sins, small sins, no repenting, no, for, no asking Allah for forgiveness. So that will make them in hellfire. But those who will remember that Allah is always with us. Allah is always overwatching. So those will be saved. So which of the blessings of you, Lord, would you deny? None, ya Allah. Alhamdulillah. So what about these gardens? دواتا أفنان. So 
these gardens are with spreading branches. في فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان؟ So which of the blessings of your Lord would you deny? None, ya Allah, alhamdulillah. فيهما عينان تجريان. So what's in the gardens? Springs of flowing water. So the water will be flowing beneath you. Imagine this amazing thing, this amazing scene. Now, if you go to nature and you see some trees with a river next to it and uh, some uh, mountains, flowers, you would say, subhanallah. Now imagine the description of, of paradise. فيها ما لا عين رأت ولا أذن سمعت ولا خطر على قلب بشر. There in paradise, you you will not you cannot imagine you cannot see nothing you have seen nothing you have heard of nothing you can imagine. فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان so which of the favors, which of the blessings of your Lord would you deny? None, ya Allah, alhamdulillah. فيه ما من كل فاكهة زوجان. In the gardens, there are two types of each fruit. Of every fruit, the, the of every fruit, there are two two kinds. So which of the favors of you, Lord, you would you deny? None, ya Allah. Muttakiina ala furushin, bata'inuha min istabraqo, wajan al jannatayni dan. There in paradise, those winners, those people who are in paradise, they, were, they are reclining on beds whose linings are of silk brocade. And the fruits of the gardens are hanging low. So imagine, now you are in paradise and you have the trees, the branches are coming uh, down and you are reclining on, on uh, your bed, on your couches, and suddenly you wish to have uh, an apple. And remember, Allah says, So they will have, they will have similar things, but the taste, is not the same. So you are on your couch, uh, reclining, enjoying your time, and you wish to have an apple. So what will happen? The branches would hang, would come down to you, and you will pick up the apple and you will enjoy it. So, which of the blessings of your Lord would you deny? None, Ya Allah. Alhamdulillah. Fihinna qasiratu tarfi lam yatmithunna insun qablahum wala jan. In these gardens, in these places where they will be enjoying, there will be women and limiting glances, their glances. They have not been touched by before by men or jinn. More favors, more bounties, more blessings. So which of these favors of your Lord would you deny? None, ya Allah, alhamdulillah. So as if these women are, were 
uh, wear rubies and coral. Fabi alai rabbikuma tukazziban. Subhanallah. So this is how in beauty they are. هَلْ جَزَاءُ الْإِحْسَانِ إِلَّا الْإِحْسَانِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking, is the reward of good anything but good? If someone does something good to you, you feel you want to recompensate, you, will, you want to return it back. So, Allah is asking, is the reward of good anything but good? So this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to think of. So imagine now all these blessings and imagine the heart now is understanding what will be going on. Now, we are very highly uplifted spiritually. We want to be there, Ya Allah. So the journey now is what? to prepare ourselves, to prepare ourselves to be there. And remember, no matter what good things, what good deeds you do in this dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with his mercy, each and every one of us will enter paradise. not with our deeds. So why are we working hard? See, when, when uh, Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, told this to his companions, they asked him, Ya Rasulullah, even you, you will not enter paradise with your good deeds? You have no sins? He said, Wala ana, not even me. Illa an yatagammadani Allahu bi rahmatih. Unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encompasses me with his mercy. So everyone will get into paradise by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our deeds will be where, what, what stage, what step, what level we will be in Jannah, in paradise. Some people would be in the lowest rank of Jannah. Some people would be in the middle. Some people would be higher. Some people would be with Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One, one of the righteous people, Al-Qaqa, was asked, talk to us about paradise. And he said, they asked him, talk to us, they make us more willing to, to go to Jannah, to be in Jannah. And he said, Fiha Rasulullah. Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, is there. So we are not worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of fear of hellfire or because we want to be in, in paradise. Because both are created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We want to be in paradise because Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is in paradise. So what is paradise? Imagine, imagine that there is a huge big castle which is decorated with the most fanciest, most expensive things in the world. It is ready, but to activate it, 
Sayyidna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam need to be there. It will not be activated if the plug is not plugged in. So the Jannah with everything beautiful, amazing in it is not a Jannah. You see, the Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not there. So the doors of the Jannah will not be open to anyone except for Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. At the door of the Jannah, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would, would knock, knock on it and, and Ridwan, the doorkeeper of Jannah, would ask, who is, who is there? And Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would, would say, Muhammad. And he will happily open it and he will say, I was ordered not to open the gates of Jannah except for you. So Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu will, act, will activate the Jannah for us. And then his ummah will, will follow him. So هَلْ جَزَاءُ الْإِحْسَانِ إِلَّا الْإِحْسَانِ Is the reward for good anything but good? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ So which of your, which of the blessings of your Lord would you deny? Nanya Allah, alhamdulillah. We believe in everything that you have sent us. We believe in whatever Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, has told us and has conveyed to us. And we know that when we do good, we will be highly rewarded. So, Ya Allah, we ask you to guide us to do the good things. We ask you to guide us to follow Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We ask you to guide us to have his love in our heart, Ya Allah. We ask you to guide us so our reward will be his companionship in the day of judgment. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك منه سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذك منه سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم إنا نسألك من الخير كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم ونعوذ بك من الشر كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم وصل اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته